Gonna go into game one on Hammerfall because stuff's already happening. Okay, let's check it out. The Jewel Ghoul out of Happy. Pulled immediately. Necropolis as well, back at home. The 10 supply that doesn't cost lumber because your lumber is being invested into pulling this ghoul right away. Makes sense, I hope so. It was trying to cancel the Ancient War over here, but the Ancient War was over here for the Lyad, who's going at Demon Hunter versus the Death Knight of Happy. You're all caught up. There we go. So this ghoul doesn't really do anything, does it? It, it costs a lot, like a little bit of lumber for the Lyad, but a lot of lumber for Happy, because the Lyad has to maneuver his wisps around, as you can see in the gold mine. But I assume because Happy's keeping the ghoul around, it's more efficient to continue harassing with the ghoul than to realize you can't cancel the Ancient War and just send it back home. It's like you could just send the ghoul here and be like, oh, Ancient War is not in there, I'm sending it back home. But instead he keeps it around and attacks Wisps, which because it's Happy, I'm going to guess is not just a sunk cost fallacy thing. It probably is more efficient to attack some Wisps. But who knows? Has anyone done the math? Have you guys done the math? I don't know. That being said, he does just send the ghoul back and meets up with his death knight, which is kind of a nice way to do it. I guess by the time you send the ghoul all the way back here, your DK is already out and you got to pull it again. So, yeah, I think that is the best way to do it. Facing some ghouls, archers waiting, but Happy's here. Demon Hunter has mana burn. It gets surrounded? If you had immolation, this would almost seem like it's on purpose, but no, it's not on purpose at all, guys. This is just a TP. Again, this is costing Happy some lumber, I guess, but he's tacking now. I mean, you can't call Night Elf bad after that, can you? <laughs> Just kind of got to say that was a whoopsie doopsie. A player's forces are under attack. Happy split creeping. DK. Got boots of speed. He's going to set himself up for a Naga, obviously, at tier 2. And this will help his creeping right now. There's Aura as well. No, you can smile. Well, I'm sure you guys will find a way. <laughs> You'll find a way to make this Night Elf's fault, this TP being forced, and not Lilias. I'm sure. <laughs> the DH collision size. Yes, there we go. Kevin, hell yeah. My man. Manchan, what's up? Thanks for the 71 months, dude. Appreciate you. Good to see you. Boots and circlet purchased. And this will be level 2 for the demon. A little bit of evasion creeping. I thought he might go towards the expansion, but the Demon Hunter. Wait to do that another day, I suppose. Happy gets the two center items, which is nice. Archers. Want to grab a Naga. A need to be a little bit afraid. There is no dust, though. They could just Shadow Meld. Which would be revealed at the lab, of course, eventually by a skeleton. But it would buy enough time to pick up the Naga. One ghoul should die here. But happy does this pretty well. At least the archer lived. And we're gonna get all the mana off the DK coil just because. Yeah, archers and Naga could go back and creep the expansion finally if they wanted to. I think Lolite's done enough pressure to allow this. And Happy wants his own Naga, remember? That's why he bought the boots of speed. So he's gotta get back to the center of the map with something. Oh, Tome. I don't even know what Tome that was. Anyone else see? I wasn't looking. The Lyot, I don't think, wants to fight once the Naga for Happy's picked up.
It was agility? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Happy realizing that the Naga might have just gone back and started creeping the expo, which I think would have been the best play. The Happy covers that option, but Laliat. Little did Happy know, Laliat just did nothing. <laughs> Lost an archer, though. Oh, maybe a ghoul. A ghoul should go down now. That'd have to be a crazy good micro map to not lose it. Yep, and he does. Turn on the Naga potentially now. Okay, two ghouls for two archers. Three ghouls, though. Or probably three archers. This is good for Laliat, I want to say. But the issue for Laliat is... Oh, maybe four ghouls? No, he attacks the DK. Oh, well, never mind. Well, the Naga's going to die. It was good for Laliat, I think. And then the Naga died. I was, what I was going to say is the issue with trading one for one ghouls for archers is then you can't really creep. And Happy still can creep. But yeah, this is better for Happy now. Four archers... And a Naga for three ghouls. Obviously much better for Happy. Nice Jinx. Yeah, true. <laughs> I feel like if the Lion had turned on the Naga when he initially tried to get that last ghoul. Because there was one time when he was... His archers was still well positioned, his Naga was still well positioned, and he chased a little too far to get a last hit on a ghoul. If he had just turned on Happy's Naga at that point, he probably would have won the fight. But he wanted to get that third ghoul, the greedy boy. Finally, it's creeping the first camp he wanted to creep. Happy's tier 3 timing is on the way. He's, you know, quite a few ghouls lighter than normally, but still up 11 supply. Seems like Happy's still going to be in shape to hit his timing. Still going to be in shape to push. I mean, maybe there's a couple of, the, of other options for Happy to do, but I think once that Lich comes out, he's going to grab Orb and go with it, though. Wellspring Master Training on the way. Scroll the beast. Not what you wanted here. You want at least an onk, but better yet a. Oh wait, no, you don't get. I keep confusing this lab. I don't know why. You wanted to push him vulnerability to heal there. Keep confusing this drop for this drop. I don't know why. What am I thinking of when I think of that? I don't know. That's not shallow grave. Still scroll the beast quite awful there. I'm surprised he kept the parry up at least on the DK. I mean, he'll, he'll probably pass it to the Lich. I don't know. Weird to have that on the Death Knight. Well, I got a lot of circlets and a lot of slippers. He's got nice items, but he's out of position. Well, spring's done. Plus one armor on the way. Interesting. Oh, Moonwell is used by the bear, at least, so it's going down without any juice. Oh, bears. Oh, gets nuked, nuked before they're morphed. That's unfortunate. One dryad. Saved by the Moonwell, but eventually goes down regardless. This is bear. Okay, finally has enough mana to morph. The dryad's going back and forth. The Naga makes it to the Moonwell. Can he make it to the shop for a potion? Does, I think. Yeah. Buys a potion and uses this moon well. Riot's going down, though. Really, really messy fight here. Okay, finally a fiend is dying. A statue's getting low. Is there bears reinforcing? No gold currently to build the build the extra bear that he needs. Fork Lightning finds another fiend. Happy's at least out of coils for the time being. But Laliat's out of units for maybe the whole game. Finally reinforcing with a couple of dryads, not a bear. He might miss that rejuve when he doesn't have it in a second. Okay, Fiend's gonna die. Ghoul might die as well. Surprised he's not mana burning statues. Yeah, but there's just no healing left for the light. And he's not building a bear! Imagine if he had, well, even if he had double rejuve, there's a Destro in the air. But, imagine if he could somehow get double rejuve off. 
and no orb either. True. But she could afford it at a time. Could he not? Potion of healing is not on cooldown in a second. There we go. Potion of vulnerability going to be swapped. There it is. Oh, we bought a mana pot to try to fork lightning down the Naga, but the Demon Hunter is dead and happy. Up 1-0. The timing works in game one, and wouldn't be surprised to see a similar timing in game two. How this matchup goes. Unless Eliot does something different. Keeper, Warden, going on to Echo Isles, so maybe those map that map uh makes those strategies possible. Or maybe we're just gonna see Deep Hunter five games in a row, or three games in a row, or four games in a row. Game number two. Uh, here we go. Upper left is Lalaya. Upper right is Happy. No ghoul pull this time, obviously. And Ancient War at the Merc Camp. This doesn't really tell us anything. Could still be any hero. Most likely Demon Hunter, though. Based Neo, hell yeah. Get him, Neo, get him. And Warden, okay, happy to see that. Not just because I want to see that because it's fun to watch, but I think changing things up is nice for the Lion. I'm playing Demonter all day. Happy doesn't tend to struggle in the most standard of games. He tends to struggle when games get a little weird, which Warden can absolutely make games weird. You know, you kicked the beehive. I've <laughs> true. I love it. I love it. Yum, 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 yum. Give me all the Reddit posts. I like weird games just as much as Germans like weird sex, you know what I mean? All the same to me. Priest, pulled, warden, gonna get level two. We can at least guarantee that. Happy with an acolyte. Is he gonna do what he did attack. in 2020 against Laliat on Shallow Grave during Dreamhack Sweden, where he saw Warden, he just said, I'm just going to expand because I know you're going to creep level 3. I'm just going to expand immediately as soon as I scout the Warden. Here's what he's doing. Pendant of Energy. Goliath absolutely cannot creep level 3. He's got to go across, but he can creep at the same time as harassing. While tacking, while expanding. If he wanted to. <laughs> okay, here's the Warden. What do you Shadow Strike? Probably going to go for the Acolyte. Could get it with Blink, I think. But it would cost him pretty much all of his mana. And even then, he wouldn't be able to cancel the gold mine. So the answer to the question of what to Shadow Strike, there isn't really a best target. Going to the main base is not a bad call, though. Maybe he can kill an Acolyte in the main. Ancient War is moving over. Berserk are going to be purchased, and Split Creeping will start. Light is being very conservative with his mana right now. Going to have to use a Blink eventually, though, if he wants to get any sort of kills. Because it is happy, after all. Never mind. It is happy after all, so he made a mistake. 
a small one. A player's forces are under attack. And Happy knows exactly what's going on. He's gonna creep jack this. Well, that's got a little bit of experience though from it. He's gonna get a couple of creeps. Cool. Yeah, it gets two. And Ancient War is still living. Item is stolen though. Happy, nice awareness to see where the warden is. And Happy actually, what are the? Oh, he thought there was a tree of life here. Oh my god, he could have killed the berserker, but he gives up the po potential berserker kill for what would have been a guaranteed expansion cancel. But there was no expo coming up. Maybe Happy realizes I don't really care about a berserker as long as I'm two base versus one base. Who cares? which I think makes sense. Because the whole point of this attack across the map was probably to cancel the Tree of Life in his mind. I, I like that he just sticks to his plan. He can, you know, you can so often, like, see red, like we were talking about earlier with, like, orcs trying to kill way too many peasants when they harass a human expanding. He'd be like, oh my god, I can kill a, an archer. Oh my god, I can kill a berserker. But Happy's whole goal there was to c cancel a potential Tree of Life, to keep it two base against one, and he followed through with the plan. Small thing, but I like to see that. I like to see that a lot. Shadow Strike... There's one more Shadow Strike as well. Oh. A player's forces are under attack. Now the Tree of Life is coming up, though. The light is ahead in experience, but won't be for too much longer. Be level 3 DK. Mansion. Holy Mining. Right now. And tech will come up right now as well, right? Should see tech, and then we should see Necropolis over here. A player's forces are under attack. Will Eliot play Mass Dryas for the time being? I don't think we're going to see him tech to tier 3, but I could just be absolutely wrong about that. Oh, happy again. This is a cancel tree of life. I'm happy even as a town portal so it doesn't take too many losses doing it. Again, the whole point of Happy's goal, or the whole point of Happy's game, is to just keep it two base against one. And really, you can't do much about it. He just moves across the map, cancels your tree, moves across your map again, cancels your tree. Town is under siege. And he already confirmed there was no tree of life here earlier. So he knew he had a certain window to find the Tree of Life again, and if there was no Tree of Life here the second time around, who cares? It's still two base against one. I can still put down six crypts and spam gargs. Keep the game simple. Just because Happy can do the fancy micro doesn't mean he has to. And is he going to go into gargs? No. Seems like it's just going to be standard. Two crypt fiends. He's trying to kill the Death Knight, desperately. There's going to be a Potion of Vulnerability available in like five seconds. Is the Light going to dare build another Tree of Life? Yeah, he is. Scouted already, though, and happy. Yep, is he going to go? Boop. The Light should be aware of this manu maneuver right now. Oh, GG. Yeah. Well played. Well played. Keep it two base versus one. What is your opponent going to do? Two zero already. Just cancel the tree of life, Omega Lol. I have an expansion, and you do not have an expansion. Oh, what was map one? I accidentally did springtime. Or I accidentally Echoes was map one. I think it was springtime map two, right? I have an expansion and you do not have an expansion. Therefore, I win the game. Simple, really. Truly simple. Game number three is on Twisted Meadows, though. Could this be the game of all games? Could be seeing a warden again.
Check it out. Upper left, Laliat Tavern, Hero, Build Order, Panda, Beastmaster, Fire Lord. What's it going to be? Does have a mercenary camp spawn at least. I guess those sort of plays from Happy require just better scouting, really. You need to know when the undead is going for those run-across-the-map tree cancels, and you have to be able to be in position to defend it, because obviously if your archers and your warden are there to cut off the ghouls and the DK, does Happy really want to lose four ghouls to get the tree cancel? Probably not. If not the warden before you know it's level 5, and the economy doesn't really matter because the warden's killing all your acolytes anyway. So it comes down to maybe just honestly bad scouting last game. But can you really call missing one scout bad scouting because it was just one Tree of Life cancel? Maybe you could. Maybe you could at this level. Don't know what hero it's going to be. Fire Lord is, of course, very much in fashion, but... I haven't seen it on Twisted Meadows. At least, personally, I haven't. Doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Yes, it is 6 a.m. for the light right now. It's not particularly early for Happy either, though, is it? Forces are under attack. 2 a.m. or something? Isn't it? No, maybe it's not that late. No, maybe. Oh, no, it's only midnight for Happy. He's chilling. I don't know exactly where he is right now, but... No later than 2 a.m., I would say. I don't know where he is in the world. Happy. DK. Sells the TP. Straight to the mercenary camp. It is Panda. What a fun hero to play. What a fun hero to play. Panda? Can be fun, especially if you can creep. <laughs> and Happy's trying to uh, make a Lolliet have as little fun as possible. He doesn't get an ice cream cake. He doesn't get to go, go to Go Bananas. He doesn't get any of that stuff. Okay? It's the worst birthday party ever for Liat. It's because Happy is not letting him creep. A town is under siege. Under attack. You guys know what Go Bananas is? Or is that just a Canadian thing? Maybe it's just a BC thing. Ah! I will leave. We're going flow TV, everybody. <laughs> like that. We're going flow TV. Do, 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 do. Not gonna lag in this game. Not happening. Not happening. Don't worry. We'll be, uh, we'll be back in in like one minute. Here, okay, let me cook. You know, you know, there's that you know, beating a computer the fastest challenge. Why doesn't Happy just do it with all four races? Maybe I should brainstorm with Hitman and find the quickest way to beat all four computers, and then we just split the money. Me and Hitman, sixty bucks, like that, easy. Maybe I should do that. Really, it would be Hitman thinking and me just taking credit for it, but... You know, that's all I've ever done. Okay, we're almost there. Just speeding through. We'll be in the game three just like before. Oh, never mind. We can only go... We're going to have to watch a little bit more of the game because I can't speed up anymore. But let's just watch it from where we were. Hey, okay, we're back into game three, everybody. Incredible. Wow, I wonder what's going to happen. We get to watch what happened when I left. Did Laliat lose that archer that was about to die? Because I would feel bad. Just trying to look at things we didn't look at before, like these wisps. 
like this wisp. What did it see? We'll pull up for the night elf hero. Yeah, true. A player's forces are under attack. And panda. I'm surprised the panda didn't just breath right away. Get a little bit of damage on the ghouls. Yeah, like, you know, right now he could breath. Could have hit all three ghouls. Probably there's a couple opportunities. Now there certainly is. You know what I'm saying? Get a little bit of damage on those ghouls. But I guess we're literally being uh, hindsight Andes right now. Goes Brawler first? Interesting. Yeah, we're getting to the point of where we DC. Let's see. Did he lose the archer when I lagged? Because I lagged right here. We made Happy lose a ghoul. No! <laughs> oh, he did go Aura first. Okay, so we might have not cost Happy a ghoul. We might have not, because he went Aura. I don't know. What do you guys think? Did we? Did Happy lose a ghoul because of us? He might never forgive me. I'm sorry, Happy. I'm sorry if you're hearing this. A player's forces are under attack. I had to close the Discord so I didn't get spoiled in case this game ends very, very quickly. Will this panda use mana this game? Yo, happy a ghoul? Okay, I will send him 120 gold coins. Look at that crit. Value. A player's forces are under attack. Okay. Lyot stable, but severely underleveled. He wants to be panda level 3 by now. He's not able to be. Try to start creeping. Oh, Acolyte being hella annoying right now. Okay. Got boots, that means not a second. Panda. Was waiting to buy staff, maybe? I don't know. I'd be just so aware of when and where the creeping's gonna happen. Because so oftentimes, Night Elf players in general will go for like sneaky plays. They'll go aggressive on the map to force you back into a weird position and then they'll like staff onto archers and creep a camp really quickly. And Happy just never lets that happen. He's just always aware. He, like, he scouts the Ancient of War that's there now, and now he knows the two options that the Light has to creep. Well, three. He has this green camp, or he has the two Ancient of War spots. He's not building anything right now. Oh, he's going tier three, probably? Yeah, there's the Naga. And Happy's just keeping the Panda on level one, and then he's going to do a tier three timing. Forces are under attack. Back in ghoul. I heard one archer go down over here though. And it's gonna be two for two in total this game. Archers for ghouls. Oh, never mind. Two for one. Is Lalayat ahead? No, he's not. He has a panda level one. And Lalayat actually goes for a Naga himself, giving up the the fun of having a panda level six ever. Three ghouls, though. Not bad. Critical Strike Panda. Naga has boots of speed. Light has yet to pass his boots of speed yet. Can't help but think that Coil might have been better than Aura this game. It's so weird that he went for Aura first. Oh, 
There must be a reason for it. Tier 3 on the way for both, but Happy is ahead by about, what, Only even a minute on the Tier 3 tech. Attack. Light cannot creep anything. Happy Ghoul Scout? No, he did not. He did on Echo, but he didn't on this on this map. Fiend as well. Oh. So weird to see a fiend without coil. Level 2 panda finally scroll the beast. Finally, a creep camp. But tier 3 is done. The panda's level 2 and tier 3 is done, everybody. And happy. Interesting that he's building two fiends here. Light is going to be tier 3 on time himself. With no bears just yet. Does he not have a depth for his bears? Is he going to get it after this? A depth and a first bear? Or is it just weird? Weird macro choices here. Okay, now we go into bears. Unhappy. What is his decision here? Frenzy, destroyer farm, orb, and lich is out. And he's probably going to take one, if not attack. two, camps and try and get DK3 and then push. Up with this and then a shop. Get a heal scroll and then go. Sylvie so Mask, that's nice. Greater mana for Happy, that's nicer. He always gets it, doesn't he? Is Happy going to creep DK3 or is he just going to go? It's going to take him a while to get DK3. It'll take him more than just a shop. He'll probably have to creep both shops. Or will he just go? I think he's just going to go. Who needs coil level 2? The panda will be level 3. He's going to have to burn the TP to get back home, though. Oh, I'm worried for this bear. I'm worried for this bear. Will the light realize? Oh, he doesn't realize quick enough. It's dead. He doesn't realize. No, that's such a big mistake. Oh, man. He just needed to notice here and pull it back. Okay, Panda's three, though. Ring of Regen. Didn't TP back. If you're not going to use the TP now, when are you going to use it? Breath of Fire. As long as you... Here's a very important thing that I made up, but I think it's true. Every time you breath with a Panda against Undead, hit the statues. I don't care what else you hit. Just make sure you hit the statues every time. Because look, that's two breaths, and the, both the statues would almost be dead if you hit both there. Riyank, thank you for giving me a sub to Snab. I appreciate you. Oh, Panda's kind of cooking right now. 40 against 42. Level 3 on the Naga. This Panda's owning Happy. DK dead, statue dead. Wait a second. New meta? Was this Happy's bad? Because I said creep the shop and get a heal scroll. Was that the the standard and correct way to do things here? Forty six against thirty three. Happy's back. I was losing that ghoul during the DC. Don't say that. <laughs> It was all my fault, wasn't it? Happy blames me now. Oh my god. It was my fault. It was my fault. Panda's not even good. It was because of me. Oh, try got the hit. Panda got the hit. I guess we're doing Flow TV for the rest of the series now, guys. <laughs> Why it makes the panda work.
Turtle Rock is going to be map number four. Totally joking, I know, I know. Panda just sort of owns. <laughs> Thanks, Carson, for giving it one more game. True. Panda is not screwing around. All right. Going into game four. Turtle Rock. Everybody. Well, I, one, la, one game last... Uh, last month. Now he's won one game this time, but can he make it two? Can he make it three? It is the light after all. We're memeing a little bit. We're memeing a little bit, but it's the light. I mean, he could easily win two games against Happy. He could do it. Can he do it on Turtle Rock, though? A map that everyone knows is unplayable for Night Elf, according to chat. Let's go. Let's find out right now. Bottom right here is Happy. Upper left, Laliat. Oh, sorry. sorry. I'm just trying to click on my chat. There we go. Back to the altar heroes. Has to be a demon hunter. Could it be a keeper? That's right, Razor Moon. Happy never tries. <laughs> BK versus Demon Hunter. I think Happy is the only player you cannot say was not trying in a particular game. He always is trying. You can say that he made mistakes, but you can't say that he just wasn't trying. And that's why he lost. Happy's always trying. Players' forces are under attack. BH ring. And the DK looking for mantle, of course. Gets a gauntlet. Wisp is here, but the skeletons have been split. Because this one is scouting. A player's forces are under attack. Could commit to this turtle, can't he? I don't know what he's afraid of. What are you afraid of? By the way, Aura again from Happy. Interesting. He's going to get level 2 anyway once he gets this turtle, but it's not going to be the easiest turtle to get without Coil. Oh, Ghoul Micro the way. Demon Hunter is stuck. No, he gets away. Doesn't have Coil. <laughs> Oh, if he had actually... He should have turned the ghouls around and chased with the DK. While finishing the turtle, he would have got level 2 and would have forced a TP. What the hell? What the heck, even, you guys? Am I wrong? I don't think so. Regardless, happy healed up. Eliot has to go back and use up a lot of moon walls. Quite the base build out of Eliot. A player's forces are under attack. Demon Hunter is here. 
don't think Walleye has to be afraid of a surround. But you never really know. Happy would never go for a surround that he can't actually get value out of. Why Aura first? What's the deal? I don't know, my dude. I don't know. He must have not thought he was going to get harassed on the second camp. Demon gets a ring of regen. A lot of rings of regen today. Oh my god, does he have dust? He's at least going to get one archer. But certainly going to get two, actually, because he has coils. Boop. There we go. This little find. The light did get the creep in the item, but two archers not worth. Hey, uh, Damer Glands. Thank you for the 22 months. Damer. Damer Glands. Damer Glands. Thank you. How you doing? Appreciate you. Alice, Men of Evasion for Happy. Goliath converging. Try to do what Happy did to him just 30 seconds ago, but unable to find the ghoul kills. Has to be used. A lot of damage taken. That's going to be a lot more moon juice than the light would like to use right now. Is there a dust? There isn't, but it can be purchased. But, oh. Nice items on the Naga. Secures that kill. Oh, ensnare. Coil. But immolation. Gonna find the ghoul kill. No, he can't risk it, actually. The Naga has two good of items. Plus 10 damage. Helping out a lot. Player's forces are under attack. DK won't get level three here, but both heroes will get very close to the level up. Uh, it holds the expansion. Is going to get at least a nice item, if not a level up himself. Will the light go mass deers? <laughs> Probably not because he's tech in tier 3, but that is a strat we could see. You'd kind of need an expansion for that, though. Oh, oh, well, at least got a couple deers here. Which more, unfortunately, goes down. Never liked to see that. Creeps are red. I guess he had no other options. Like, what's he going to do? Like, this red's almost easier than creeping this, this turtle here. No? This is proven to be a little bit more tricky than Happy maybe signed up for. But okay, he'll get there. Where's the statue now? <laughs> Where's your statue at? Okay, here it is. We'll get it done in the end. <laughs> Deers for dryads, gunners for riflemen, or spiders for fiends? No, I think spiders is a translation in another language. I'm pretty sure for fiends. Might be wrong, though. What if you say bears for Jews of the Claw? True! Because everyone says that. Uh, 
happy. Has insane items on his Naga. Oh my god. Those of you just joining us, look at this Naga. Holy hell. <laughs> Laliat did get Kaggar and Helm of Valor, of course, in the Death Knight, which is not good. That's the worst possible item. Other than probably Cloak of Flames. Kaggar is pretty good, though. Oh, this Naga. Won't be able to carry as much as you wanted to. Oh, no, she's dead! It just dies. It dies to the creeps. The DK dies as well. It's surrounded. What is going on? <laughs> it also denied to the creeps. Both heroes dead to the creeps. <laughs> what is going on? All right. Those of you wondering how to beat Happy. This sometimes works. Last month, we were just saying, you know, you just surround the, the DK with four footmen, but... Nowadays, you just... <laughs> players' forces are under attack. <laughs> Alright, well, the Lion's quite a bit ahead. Happy is tired? No way Happy's more tired than the Lion. Okay, DK's back. Naga's back in a minute. Happy expanding now, why not? Go for the risks when you lose two heroes. I don't I don't mind that idea. Supply is still even. Dude, the experience would have been the big difference maker, right? Like, Naga's gonna be back soon. DK, it sucks to have to tavern revive it, but it costs, you know, not that much gold at the end of the day. Really, what the big difference would have been was getting experience for both those heroes. That would have put Laliat at like 4-4 already with the Demon Hunter on the way to level 5. But still, another creep shack. That's a dead fiend. Love that he's not attacking the fiend with that as frost armor. Item was a scroll of the beast. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, I can't create. Go make a Reddit post, dude. <laughs> At this point, just make a Reddit post. Evasion 2, Immolation 1. He'll be level 4 soon, but it is it is a strange choice, so yes, I agree. <laughs> He's going to need to retrain to Mana Burn really soon anyway, right? Probably right now. Six versus 50, but light 900 gold saved up. There's a Tome. Retraining. A player four yeah, how much experience is... I mean, people are smart enough in this chat to know. How much experience is the level 4, or no, those double level 3 heroes? Like, how much did the Lion miss for both those creeps being denied? Oh, this is going to be a... Possibly a bear die? No, he... I thought he was going to have to staff the demon out, but... Okay, expansion mining and unscouted. The risk that Happy took when he got behind paid off. A player's forces are under attack. Alliant. Ancient of Wind and AP. Maybe a little bit too scared. Oh no, Happy, what's going on? <laughs> Remember, I didn't say that Happy wasn't playing a little poorly. I was saying that he, he was trying. Happy always tries. He might be playing poorly, but he's trying, okay? <laughs> Compared to what Happy normally, you know, how Happy normally plays, of course. He's always trying. 160 experience per level 3 hero, so 320 experience missed out by not getting those hero kills. Um, I don't I think this Wisp saw the expansion. Goliath yet to break upkeep. The Lumber may be a bit of an issue. What does he have? Five, six Wisps on Lumber right now? A Something around there. Building some now. Breaking upkeep with Wisps. Six, 
32 versus 52. Lalite will be able to get ahead in supply if he's able to spend all the gold. Ugh, trying to mana burn that ledge. He was maybe just barely out of range. Felt like he was close enough. Hey, Lalight, do not fight this. He just morphed three destroyers. Get the hell out. If he had a TP, he would be using it right now. Run, Lalight, run. If you fight, you lose the game. Hey, the wisely getting the drives to the back to try to get the bears out. He hasn't used any staff yet. Get the hell out of here, Lilayat. Do not fight this. Okay, you can staff the bear. Okay, he might lose a dryad. Who cares? As long as you get out. Okay, he survived the three Destro Morph. Banging into an expo is not ideal, though. No, absolutely not. But still, Lilayat, 800 gold, catching up in supply. But Lalite is forcing a lot of mana if he gets a eats a nuke and gets a mana burn. Damn, he just can't get a mana burn on this lich. He needs to get rid of these Novas. If he can get rid of a couple of Novas and then fight on even supply, he's going to be able to probably win the fight and break the expo. But that's what Lalite has to do right now. Oh, positioning. Pretty good for Happy. Now the dry. See, that's what happens when you have a Nova. <laughs> 71 versus 69. A lot of that in production, though. Happy has his whole fighting army here right now. I don't know how many ghouls are back at home, but a couple of them that are fighting here have already gone down. Bears in the front. Pretty much melted. DK. Could have been nuked down, but would have just TP'd out. Could still be turned around on. He has a fork lightning. Oh, Demon Hunter stacked out. Surprised we didn't see a fork lightning into a focus fire on the DK at all. Oh, bear. Not dying, actually. Pretty important this bear lived. Go form talons are just kind of melting. We didn't see the critical mass that he needed. Again, DK is so far in the front. Why don't we see a fork lightning into focusing? He's just not going for the DK. I guess Eliot realizes maybe he's got to do something in this fight or else he just loses. But he probably loses anyway. Did Lyot even see the expo? I'm wondering that now. Because, like, you assume this Wisp saw it, but maybe he never saw it. And GG. We were on Flow TV, so we did call GG, but Happy gets 3 1. And that was an interesting game. <laughs> Lost both heroes. Said, I guess I'll expand and hope he doesn't scout it. And you know what? Lyot never scouted it.